Uh, when you get your kit, it will arrive in a tube or a box. The kit will come rolled up as one piece. You will also get your squeegee. You will get uh, installation instructions. Depending on what kit you get, there are two different style kits. There is the wrap style kit, which is what we have here. And there's also an OEM style kit, which is the contour cut shaped graphics rather than completely covering the panels like the wrap style does. Um, you can see here on the kit itself, we indicate which, which panel and the, the location by these little arrows and, and the text. It's pretty self-explanatory. Take your kit out of the box, have it indoors, unroll it on a table and let it sit for um, a couple of hours and just let it relax. Once it looks like that, you're, you're all set to go. So to install, you're going to need some glass cleaner, paper towels. You're going to need uh, methyl hydrate uh, as a degreaser. It will take any contaminants so that the Windex won't get off. Uh, if you've used any kind of uh, armor all or any kind of protectant on your panels, this will remove that stuff. Uh, stickers do not stick to silicone, so we want to get that off the panel. Your X-Acto knife, there's all different kinds of uh, blades. Basically, you want a really sharp blade, something that you can trim. Scissors. Your squeegee comes with your kit. You may or may not want to use tape to locate the pieces. I will probably not use that here, but if you feel more comfortable using tape and taping the pieces up, uh, before you, you actually take the backer off and stick them down, you can do that. And of course your heat gun. So once you've got all those things and you're, you basically want to bring your panels in, even if you've got a heated garage, I would recommend taking the panel off the sled. It's a lot easier if you're working on a table and you've got these, the panel in front of you, you're not you know, bending down and, and trying to balance while you're sticking pieces on the side. Um, first thing we're going to do is actually clean them. Um, just Windex or glass cleaner, doesn't matter what brand. You can use soap and water too if you want. What I recommend is that you clean the panels until you do not have any more residue coming off the panel and showing on your, on your paper towel. And I'm going to hit it with my methyl hydrate. Uh, methyl hydrate or uh, rubbing alcohol, anything that evaporates quickly. Uh, you don't want to use Varsol or anything like that because it'll actually leave a, a residue. Don't use anything strong. Don't use acetone. Don't use lacquer thinners. Those products are too strong for the plastic. Make sure you get all the edges. A wrap decal kit is going to come right to the edge here. It's going to come down to this line. And um, you're probably going to have to trim in here. So you want to make sure it's clean right to the edge of the panel. My paper towel, you can see that it's it's clean, so that one there is ready to go.